All right, hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Today we're gonna take a look at this power drive, 1000 watt Bluetooth pure sine wave inverter. This is commonly found at truck stops like Loves and all them along the side of the highway and various other places. But this is geared more towards uh, having power in a truck or a vehicle. You could even use it in a solar system, which is what we have it hooked to now and we'll show that. But basically you get two AC outlets a uh, USB-A and a USB-C port. This is something that many inverters do not include, and that is cables. This comes with 36-inch cables for negative and positive. That's how the unit looks. Go ahead and take a look at the side here. 1,000 watts continuous power, 2.4 amp, and a USB-C 3 amp, two three-prong AC outlets, Bluetooth, Removable panel, so that's pretty cool. You can mount this inverter somewhere underneath a seat or something and then have the control panel uh, up where you can see it. High, low voltage, over temp and over protection. Uh, heavy duty powder coated metal housing. All right. Let's see. Input is going to be 11 to 15 volts DC. Output is 115. The frequency is between 58 and 62, which is right around pure sine wave. Uh, surge power is always going to be usually double, so that's 2,000. Efficiency is 88% max, so it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's good. No low draw is going to be a half amp or less. Low battery shutdown, 10.5. That's all your information there. Uh, there. Another good thing about this inverter is they have replaceable blade fuses inside, and we will show that as well. So you can power all this stuff. We're gonna get it hooked up and set up and then we'll come over and take a look at it. All right, here's the unit itself. It does come with two screw down locking pins for the face here, but we did take them out so we can show you that the face is removable and it does come with extended uh, phone jack connection. And it looks to be about five or six feet. So you'll be able to run this thing up into the cab of your truck or wherever you really want it. We don't need to use it for say here. So we have it just sitting in there for now because we're gonna put a kilowatt meter there to really test this output. But here is the best part, right there underneath this little access door that we took off are the five replaceable 30 amp fuses. You don't find that on many inverters now. They usually have internal fuses that cannot be replaced. But if we look in the circuit board and everything, and everything in there looks nice and clean. It's not bad at all. Nice, solid uh, battery post mounts that are bolted into the control board, not soldered. So uh, this thing should do pretty well. Uh, we're going to get a kilowatt meter on here. We're going to get everything set up to test the output of this thing. All right, we have everything set up. As you can see, the no load amperage is 0.6, exactly what they claim. So we're going to go ahead and turn everything on. We got a hook to this kilowatt meter. We're going to try and load this thing and see where it will hold the most um, wattage. So you just hold the power button, it turns on. So we got 118 volts or so. Strong about one amp at idle. Uh, that's going to tell you your wattage there. So it says kilowatt output and wattage output. Let's check the hertz. 60 hertz even. All right, let's turn the power on and see what we got. We're going to start loading it up. All right, we're drawing uh, 23 watts because we have a, te a small television plugged in. We're going to turn up an air purifier here. So sorry if it gets a little noisy. We are also going to plug in a battery to charge here. All right, we're going to turn our light on full blast here. Get everything going. Turn everything on. We're also going to plug a phone into the USB port here. All right, if I don't struggle with it, a little tight going in. So we're already pulling down about 430 right at about 500 so the meter is not too far off all 
All right, we're heading up towards 700 now. Maybe a little better view there. Looks like 670 is where this thing's sitting. We'll see if it's gonna get any higher. 720. So we're drawing about 70 amps out of the batteries right now. 730 watts or so. Let's see the amperage, 6.5 amps AC. And we're still pulling 59.9, and, and 59 so 60 hertz. Power factor is one. Amperage is uh, 666. Interesting number there. All right, and that's everything running this tiny house. So we'll tell you what we have running. We have a small um, ceramic heater. That's a 1500 watt heater on low right now. We're charging an iPhone. We're charging a Ryobi battery, running an air purifier on full blast, uh, a television, a VCR, charging a cordless phone, and have a small lamp on. So we'll just sit here and wait and see what this uh, thing can peak out at. It's already doing phenomenal. So no fan yet. Still, still pulling hard, 770. Looks like the wattage between the uh, inverter and the actual wattage being drawn is just a little bit off. And 20 to 30 watts off, nothing big. We just bumped this heater up to high. Fan came on just to show you exactly where it was going to sit. So yeah, we're pulling 700 watts, no problem. We're going to try and figure out and see what are the combinations we can get to get this thing closer to the 1,000 watt mark all right we got a different heater here we're gonna try it out and see what happens go ahead and try and load this thing closer to 1000 Fan kicked on, no big deal. All right, we're pulling right out about a kilowatt, 950 amps. Oh, I'm sorry, 950 watts. No issues. Pulling eight amps, 60 hertz, power factor one. So yeah, no issues pulling uh, any power down really. We're sitting right at that 1000 mark, no issues. If you've seen in the short, 
This thing will draw down 1200 easy. Yeah, no problem drawing down the full amount of power from this thing right now. We have every device plugged in that we have and we're still not maxing it out yet. So it's doing really well. We'll see if we can potentially swap another load on here and see if that changes anything. Don't know if it will. Uh, let's see, we'll turn the fan on this one real quick. See if that'll bump it up a little. Alright, we got both of these heaters. We got two different heaters on now. Maybe it'll, it's going to overpower, probably. Yeah, no issues pulling down this. Look at that, guys. We're sitting right at 1260. 1270, no issues. All right, there we go. It tripped the power. So as you can see there, you can definitely draw down more than what it's rated at. So we're gonna check this app out real quick and see what it's about. Okay, we downloaded the Power Drive app from the App Store. When you sync it up, the default code is 8888. We've already synced it up and you see there it's already picked up the 1000 watt inverter. The inverter is off, but the Bluetooth on the inverter is still on in the background. That's probably what that 0 0.6 amp draw is in the background, but we can turn it right on from here. You see the power just went on because this is plugged into the inverter. We have different uh, things here. Testing that's going to be for in-vehicle. So this is not connected to a vehicle. This is connected to a solar panel system. I'm um, not sure if anything will work. Well, let's just see. See what happens. Hey, and it may not work because this is not uh, on a vehicle or anything. I heard some type of fan, but yeah, bad result. Because again, we're not running an engine, so it's not putting any serious amperage in there. Um, so unfortunately, we cannot test that part. We got settings here, inverter alarm, phone alarm, low voltage. Uh, let's put that on low fan cable selection so that will allow you to set timers let's see what cable selection is here calculate which is not bad it's got a lot of useful features in there uh status all right that's what we're kind of interested in here to see what we can get we'll zoom in down here All right, we're gonna go ahead and just turn things on and see what happens. I don't think we're drawing really anything right now. 5% of the inverter. We'll turn on a heater here and see what happens. As you can see, the inverter is jumping up. The temperature down there says safe, so that's good. It says we're pulling about 70. 6% of the inverter right now, uh, which is coming out to about 850 watts is what we're doing right now. We'll jump that up a little more. We're gonna turn everything on just to show you. And as you see, it's, it's handling just fine there. We got about 900 watts being pulled down right now. No issues whatsoever. As you see there, we're almost about 90%. So we're pulling just under one kilowatt right now. So this thing handles, you know, 1100, 1200 watts consistently, no issues. The app is very helpful. And we'll show you that you can go ahead and just power it right off. Everything shut off. So 
seeing that this comes with the cables, it comes with replaceable fuses inside everything, this is definitely one of the better inverters uh, that you can actually purchase all in one complete. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up, drop a comment, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.